Look at that beautiful hadith in Bukhari Sharif. When there is contentment in the heart, food for thought in particular for our sisters. Ata ibn Abi Rubah says, Abdullah ibn Abbas radiallahu tells me, Ala urika imra'atan min ahli al-jannah. Should I not show you a woman of Jannat? I said, please do tell me. He said, هذه المرأة السوداء أتت النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم. You see this woman of Abyssinian origin? Come and tell you a story about this woman. She one day came to Nabi alayhi salam. Look at the condition in her life. يا رسول الله إني أسرح وأتكشف. O Nabi of Allah, I suffer from epilepsy. Now what a fatal illness she is suffering. What a sickness. O Nabi of Allah, I suffer from epilepsy. And when I have these attacks, my sitter is exposed. Could you perhaps make dua to Allah that Allah cures me? Now what a tragedy in a life. It warrants total depression. Subhanallah, what are the teachings of Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? The Nabi of Allah, one was to lift his hands and instantly make dua and Allah will respond positively and cure the woman. But the Nabi of Allah gave her a choice. In shi'ti da'utu Allah an yu'afiq. Wa in shi'ti sabarti walakil jannah. You have one of two choices. If you so wish, I will make dua to Allah now. He will cure you instantly, permanently, totally. On the other hand, if you endure, persevere and exercise patience, I promise you Jannat is yours. Now in today's terms, when a person understands that sickness means depression, it means medical expenses, it means burdening the family, it, it entails a host of other things. Naturally, a person is so desperate for cure, he'll do anything and everything. The Nabi of Allah asked this woman, if you want, I make dua to Allah, Allah will cure you. And if you want, you make sabr and jannah. Now she is suffering epilepsy. Subhanallah, contentment. She says, oh Nabi of Allah, if you promise that I have patience, jannah is mine, then I will prefer living with this sickness. And I will prefer dying with this sickness. As long as you can confirm jannah is mine. However, I am very conscious of my modesty. And when I have my epilepsy attacks, my sitter is unveiled and it is exposed. I want you to make that amount of dua that in the future attacks that I have, I, my sitter mustn't be unveiled. There was a time when a woman was conscious of her morality in the midst of sickness, which perhaps anyone can debate as she been excused in the sense of the sickness that she has. The Nabi of Allah made dua that in the future attacks that she has, her sitter mustn't be exposed. But Allah gave her contentment on her sickness. She lived with epilepsy, she died with epilepsy, and on the tongue of Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, her abode in Jannat was confirmed. Hence, it is a perception, it is a deception, it is a delusion that if I am healthy and I am wealthy, I am successful and I am content. It is contentment. Grab onto it. I swear by Allah, if you have it, you're a king without a throne also.